stayed with the with the in-state kid, right? New Orleans could have stayed with the LSU kid. They do not. Instead, the pick is in, and it is a name you just heard Matt Norlander say, Trey Murphy the third. I, I, like I said, I, I never know. Sometimes they want to be called the third, sometimes they don't. Either way, Triple Virginia. Trip. First ACC player with 10 points on 50, 40, and 90 since some guy named Kyrie Irving did it at Duke. He had a pretty good career uh, now, obviously, with Brooklyn. So, um, let's just go right to it. You know this program. You know this kid. Matt Norlander, uh, Trey Murphy here, round one, pick 17. Blue teams away. He's one that we mentioned, Primo, the biggest stock riser. Trey Murphy also very significant in the past two months in terms of, uh, two months in terms of how much he's been able to move up the board here. 3 and D guy, distributes well, wonderful defensive player, and yes, EK mentioned the shooting there. This is this is a very, very pragmatic pick here. I understand that Trey Murphy is not a household name, but for New Orleans to get him in this spot, I actually think he compliments Zion Williamson very well, and he's got a great story. He didn't start in Virginia. He started at Rice and built himself up into a top 20 pick in essentially two and a half years' time. So certainly uh, a pick that might have some Pelicans fans wondering why this guy. I'm just telling you, he's going to be great in the locker room, and he'll be a really a very nice nice addition and not every pick is going to be Avery as you well know not every pick is going to be some guy that's a starter for 10 years I see Trey Murphy really as being a great plug and roll player and serving a very nice purpose for for this team for the next two three years in that spot you like this selection I like it I had one of his games uh, a couple of years ago when he played for Rice on CBS Sports Network and I like that you know he his versatility stretched the floor this is all about spacing again whether whether it was Cam Thomas or Trey Murphy, how does he space the floor around Zion? That's one of the reasons why they traded for Valentin Nunes from Memphis, a big man unlike Adams that can spread the floor. So this gives him more space. Uh, this kid, can you can move him around. He's a mature player. Uh, he's been well coached uh, at Virginia. They played a slow type of game, tried to change their philosophy a little bit to try to play a little bit faster, but I like this pick for the Pelicans. We've seen some of the Virginia kids come out and yeah. do a nice mm -hmm. job and sort of overperform where they're drafted. Uh, what's the grade going to be? Here's Kim. 43% from beyond the arc. Uh, I'm already going to call him Trey Triples. Trey Triple as it is for the New Orleans uh, Pelicans here. Uh, Gary, what are you calling it? Uh, this was your under-the-radar prospect heading into the NBA draft. I know you love this pick as uh, Trey Murphy the third heads to New Orleans. Yeah, you and I uh, talked about it last night. It's an A-plus for me. I mean, he was, and I know I keep saying this, but the only reason I keep saying it is because it's true. He was the highest guy on my board at this point. There have been 17 picks in this draft, and 15 of the 17 were in my top 15 of my latest mock draft that published earlier today. So I'm not trying to pretend that this is going exactly in the order that I had it, but the players that I thought would be off the board by now are largely off the board by now. And again, at this point, Trey Murphy was the highest guy on my board, and Avery had it exactly right. This is all about Zion Williams, Williamson, and it's not about who does Zion like or want. It's about how do you maximize Zion Williamson, and we've known since the day he stepped foot in the NBA that you've got to surround him with shooters. They didn't properly do it at Duke, and it might have cost him a national championship. If they don't properly do it in New Orleans, it might cost him a future MVP. This is a step in that direction. Trey Murphy is a 6'9 wing who can really, really shoot it, and this is exactly the type of person you want to put around Zion. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.